ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beat Up Cats. I am your host, Mel, and this is your host, JC. That is a cat with coke. All right, now listen up, boys and girls. Like I said, there's gonna be two videos, maybe three a week. The first one, and a very important one, and this is for you guys. This is also for us. That's why we made a YouTube channel. Yeah. But this this one is about a, uh, the card, the next USC card happening tomorrow. Okay, mm -hmm. so just pay attention because my boy JC is gonna be detailing who is going to win. You know, he's gonna be breaking it down. Pay attention if you wanna make some money. He's the man to go. We always working on that. We've made some money up on, we've made some money in the past with that. And in fact, we've made some real good money on that. So, uh, by the way, just take our card and I'll break down. As an advisement only, you know, it's not like, let's just say you guys decide to go with us. We lose. I mean, you lose. We also lose some money too because we're sticking to what we do. All right? Now, we don't always pick all the fights. As soon as we start, let's just say we win three or four, we get out of it. All right? So I'm going to leave you with JC so he can break it down for you guys. Pay attention, please. Grab that motherfucking pen now and get ready. Let's go, girls and boys. Okay, tomorrow we have the UFC 49 Makache against. Bobby the King Green. The fights that start tomorrow are free at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So we are ready to make some money. Uh, like Mel was saying, we took our spot, but we are not betting in all the fights. We are betting in what we think that we are 90% sure that they are going to win. But nothing is a lot in sports. So bet what you can lose, not bet the house, because if you lose it, you know. Problem. Be responsible. Okay. Okay. Please yeah. be, be responsible. Okay. I am with my teacher with all the serial killers, so we're gonna kill this car. Okay? okay. So we are gonna start with the first fight, Victor Antimirano against Carlos Hernandez. This is a low-level fight. Both guys are coming from a Dana White Contender Series. This fight, like I told you, it's a low-level fight. It can go either way. If something go with the dog Altimirano of no nobody because this guy is a wrestler, but no picks over there. No picks for us over there. We're not we're not using this one. Okay, pretty much. The second fight is Rahim Brahimov against Michael Gilmore. Uh, I like really Brahimov in this spot, but he has dropped the ball sometime before and he's coming in short notice. So that is a red flag, and he fought two months ago against Cor McGee, and he took damage. So that is something that you know you have to take as knowledge. If something, I would take Brahimov first round by submission. If not, don't play nothing because Gilmo has horrible takedown defense. But like I told you, Brahimov, he has shown that he has horrible IQ, and that's something that you know like he's really bad in fighters. Like fighting with our IQ, you know, like if you know that a guy has horrible takedown defense, take it to the ground and win the fight. Mm -hmm. No strike with the guy. Like that doesn't make any sense, but you know, that's what I mean with IQ. So in this fight, I am not playing nothing, but again, if you want to play something, Brian off and rounds with Mitch. Alright, so pretty much we are not betting on this one. That's the rest of me on this one as well. Okay. But not. So the next one is very interesting. Yeah, the next one is Jonathan Martinez against Alejandro Perez. This one, he will be our first pick, Jonathan Martinez. This guy, I really like this guy. We have been watching him. He has made us some money in the past, and also he lost, uh, we lost that fight against uh, David Grant. He was winning, but he just got caught, whatever, whatever can happen in a fight. So, you know, I really like how he meets with the kids, the knee, the elbow, he's a really good martial artist. I really like his kickboxing background. So I don't feel Alejandro Perez winning. Alejandro Perez is 35 years old right now and he's 
in last fight he fought with a guy that was like 42, 43 from Brazil, and he didn't look so good. He was outlanded by the guy, but the other guy got out because he was all like a dinosaur. So you know, he won that fight. So in this one, I am pretty confident in Jonathan Martinez. That one will be our first pick. The next fight, I'm gonna leave it to Mel that he really liked this fight. Right, I'm gonna be talking about Mr. McKinney over here versus Sian Fares. I, Mr. McKinney is a very good striker on the very first round. Yes, sir. But he's got a lot of problems with his conditioning. It means that after he goes after the first round, he ain't got no more air on that tank. Yes. And the first Sian outlast him after the first round, and he still presents with the same problems of conditioning, it's gonna go straight to this to this guy. It's gonna go straight to Zian. Now, if you take a look at McKinney, he's got style, he's really strong, but lightning. He, and, and he knocks out people in seconds. But that's the thing, after they go, after the first round with them, he has lost almost every single fight that he has done after the first round. Yeah. He has never won after that's it. And uh, even though we are kind of, I'm kind of inclining to him, like he's going to win it on the first round. We are not sure. We are him. not really sure completely. It is, we're not. I will pick him. But then again, you know, the other guy has very good conditioning. Right? Mm -hmm. So the best thing over here is not bad because you are risky. You know, he's a 50-50 fight, so why reach a 50-50 fight? You can get an 80-25 or 90-10% fight, you know, like, that doesn't make any sense. The next fight, we have Josean Nunez against Ramona Pascual. I'm not going to talk so much about this because Ramona Pascual is coming in short notice. She has never fought in the UFC. She is from Hong Kong, so, you know, we don't know a lot about her. The only thing that she trained over there and she had fought in Thailand, but Muay Thai is really different to MMA because in the stand-up, you know, you cannot be like in MMA like that because you're gonna get caught because you have your chin outside. So, you know, if anything, Josiana Nunez, but again, no pick for us over here. The next one, it will be our second pick of the night. We are really confident in this guy, Ignacio de Bahamondes. Yes. This guy is really good. And I love what I saw in his last fight about his takedown defense. Uh, he proved me wrong. He proved me that he can stop the takedown. He mm -hmm. stopped 12 takedowns. So against a good black belt in BJJ in Robertson. So shout out to Ignacio Bahamondes. Also he's training with Belal Mohamed, so he has good gym over there, you know, they are building something good. The other guy is a good prospect uh, from China. Also, I wanted to take something real quick. Chinese guy, they don't win a lot in the UFC. The only guy that is like uh, outside the box, like we said, is the Chinese champ, that, that she was the champ, and uh, Son Yudong. The other guy that had come from China, almost they lose all the fights, you know, so taking as a surprise. This guy also is 21 years old. He has a ceiling to, ro to grow. Ignacio Bajamondes is 24. So the only thing that I can see Ignacio Bajamondes loses the fight, it would be if he is taken down. But you know, like, even I see like he, he's been like taken down one or twice in the fight, he's gonna pop up real quick and he's gonna keep mixing everything. What do you think about this, Mel? Uh, it's definitely going to be Bahamondes. Uh, like, before in the past, Bahamondes uh, didn't have very good, uh, a very good takedown defense, but he's been getting better at it. Last fight, this, his rival tried to take him down 12 times, and 12 times he avoided that. So that is a huge upgrade for this guy. If he can keep it up like that, with these prelims, fellas, he might actually make it to to the main card. I'm pretty sure that he's gonna do that, he's gonna make it, and he's gonna be a lot of dangers for a lot of fellas. And he has a couple of fights already under his belt. 
So uh, we are definitely gonna go with Bahamondas in this one. He's gonna take it. Also, sure. another thing that I didn't say is his reach and his height. He's really high for the for the division. Yeah, so. about almost five inches. Uh, he. The, the only thing that I'm concerned about the other guy is that the other guy does try to take down his opponent yeah. a lot. But Bahamondas has gotten better than that. So yeah. that's it. So we are picking Bahamondas no matter what. Now we are going to the main car. We are going to start with Armen Petrochans against Gregory Rodriguez. Yep. This one is a really exciting fight. This one is a boxing against a wrestler. Like we always said, wrestler has an advantage against boxing. But you know, like wrestlers, sometimes they get tired if they don't keep it with a good tank. And this is the problem in Rodriguez. Now I know that he has changed gym and he's training right now in MMA in top team, America. And he's really good over there and they have a really good community. And so I think that maybe he has made improvement, but we don't know yet. And if you see in Petrosian, he's always like taking down in the first round and then in the third one, he come back and knock out the, the rival. So this one will be Rodriguez in the first round or Petrosian late. So I don't want to to have any risk over there, so this one I'm not gonna have any pick. What do you think, Mel? Uh, I honestly think um, Rodriguez might actually take this one, but it's like you said, he's, he's too hard. He too has the same problem as McKinney. Mm -hmm. The tank. Uh, the, he, he, the, tank. He, 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 the tank. However, he might have done some couple of improvements. Yeah. Let's see what happens in this one. But if I would pick somebody, it would definitely no, be, it Rodriguez. Would be Rodriguez. It would be him, just because. You know, um, now I'm gonna please. let you this fight because I know that you love money fights. Right, so go on. Yeah, yeah. Pay attention to this one. <laughs> this and one. explain to the to our guys what does it mean, money fight? Right. Well, money fight means every single fight can make money, but there are certain fights that you can make more money than others and risking less. Yes. For example, this one. Uh, they are portraying Sarukian to be the winner. He's yeah. the positive. He's the dog. He's the dog, pretty much. So he is the dog in this fight. But in our since in our in our, in our experience in everything that we have done before, he's not. The dog here is Alvarez. Yes. His his size and his reach is a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. He can take it to the ground and he can uh, he can strike with mostly any opponent. Yeah, he has really Maybe. good takedown defense. Mm -hmm. And he has good, really takedown defense. If he fights his fight, yeah. if he keeps this guy in reach, outside in reach, mm -hmm. he's gonna take it no matter what. Yeah. We have done this with this guy in the past, yeah. right? Like he's been the underdog in the last uh, mm -hmm. for the last couple of three, four fights, mm -hmm. and every single time. He's we, the got it. we got it. He's the underdog. I think only one we missed it, but it's most of the time. Like I said, if you lose some money, it's going to be very little, but if you do win, it's going to be good rewards. Good rewards. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alvarez is here. That's what we mean by money fight. We bet on the guy that's the underdog, but he's actually the, the dog. dog of the fight. Mm -hmm. All right? So. We are not telling that he cannot lose. He can lose. Don't yes. take us wrong because Armand Sarukian, he's a dog. Like, if he takes him down, you're going to suffer. But, you know, like, Joel Alvarez, even if he's on the ground, he has good submission on his back and he's a black belt in BJJ. And he hits like a truck. If you see the fight that he took against Thiago Moises, he knocked down that guy in the first round. That was it. So, so I really like this guy, Joel Alvarez. So that's definitely another pick. I mm -hmm. want to address the next fight. It's Kim versus Cachoeira. Cheating Cachoeira. Yeah, cheating, cheating Cachoeira. Mm -hmm. That's what we call her. Well, Cachoeira in the last fight against uh, um, uh, they were grappling on the ground and pretty much she tried, she actually tried to gouge the eye like this. Yeah. Several times. Uh, it's no one, I mean, I was not hoping, but I thought that she was not going to be in the UFC anymore. Yeah. But here she is, again, on the card. Yeah, she's an exciting fight, you know, she's like a zombie. They call it the, the Brazilian zombie. They call it the Brazilian zombie, probably because she takes a bunch of hits and keeps on going. That's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to not say that she's not going to win. Kim is supposed to be the winner in this fight, but she has disappointed me before. Yeah. Kim is a really long, uh, right. a, a really long fighter. Like she 
has a lot of reach for a lady. She has 72 inches. But then again, she disappointed me a lot against Macan. Macan has 62 <laughs> inches. Ten and then somebody long. does that's ten, ten inches, inches of long. difference. And Macan it's like, like this. And Macan, all she had to do was get in there and beat her. In yeah. her own game. That's not supposed to happen, fellas. Yeah. If you are a long guy, long fella, you know that and you know the fight and you know what fight you have to do. Fight behind your job. That's it. That's it. That's it. There's just no way. Unless they take it to the ground, you got no takedown difference. Yeah. But anyways, um uh, I'm gonna let you see adjust the next one. Okay, the next one is it will be our four pick. I am really like I am really love this fight and also we will we were watching the 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 way in and we saw that Mitchell Sikono is really big against this guy. Like I thought that it's gonna be like the same height, but no. This guy take like five inches more than the other guy. And in any way that the fights go, I like Silkono. This guy, you know, is a black belt in BJJ, he's really strong, and also he has fought with the level competition. Like, people say that he's chinny, but if you see the guy that he has been knocking down, he has been a uh, spam, he has been Johnny Walker, he has been Glover Teixeira, those guys are the cream of the cream. Like, you know, all of them have been ranking guys. And if you see in Terman, the best guy that he has fought was Sam Albi. Nothing against Sam Albi because he's a legend in the sport, but he's old. He's 44 years old. And he was outlanded by Sam Albi. So what can you expect against Sikono? If something, the chinny guy, it will be Terman in this fight. The only thing that I can see Terman winning this fight, it will be an ugly decision, a split decision in the ground, mixing it, but I don't see him like Terman out grappling in Silicono. What do you think, Mel? No, honestly, I don't see Terman at all, even out grappling or, or out scoring in, in significant hits against Silicono. Like, Silicono looked pretty good when we yeah. saw him in the face off. And I mean, good. Like, the guy looked very in shape. I'm not saying Terman did it, but Silicono seems to yeah. be like the guy here who's going to take it. And that's our, that's our next pick for sure. We're going to talk now about the main event. Yeah, the main event. Really exciting fight. I, I love this guy. Hey, Bobby, we won. We saw you. We, uh, we love you. We you love have you. wasted we a lot of money in the past. We saw you in the face out and we saw you in the press conference. And let me say, that's what a fighter needs to do to sell the fight. Yeah. You're going to get far. But this is the thing. They got you out of the fish tank and they put you in the middle of an ocean <laughs> with the biggest great white shark there is. The Kraken. <laughs> Maybe not, like I said, like he said, maybe not even the great white shark. They put you against the Kraken. <laughs> and he has a cheat code in his corner. Yeah, he has the and he's got a cheat code in his he corner. He's like a Kraken and he has God. You know, like he, <laughs> like he has everything. He's, he's got Khabib on his back, yeah. though. And this is the thing. I, it's not like I don't doubt you that the fight can be turning your side, but you're fighting a monster right now. And also in a weak short notice, you know, like, he has to lose like 20 pounds. This is definitely going to be Makachev's night. Yeah. In one week, sure. I remember when Masvidal fought against Usman the first the first time. Did you remember? He has yeah. to cut 25 pounds in four days. If you see like how like the body is not like yeah, the body takes the fight. a toll. Baby. Yeah, but the the body is not knows. ready for that. You know, and like it needs to heal after. Yeah, that. you know, and like you come in here, you come in there to fight, and he just a fought bit dehydrated two weeks ago against Nasparat. So how is that body feeling? You know, even he he won that fight really good and one of the best performance in his life. Like his body has to feel. Well. It's like I remember. Do you remember the Barbosa against what is the name of the guy that he, he's like a troll? Like he's from Puerto Rico. Uh, Barbosa against I forgot the name. That he that he was hit and he was trying to fight, but his brain was like in shutdown and he was the time going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I forget his name. I forgot his name. Well, that guy. If you see that, like, you can have, like, the willing of fighting, but your body is not going to respond to that. That was what happened in that moment. Like, he was trying to fight, but his brain was shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty much, uh, it, it, this is Marcus of Nights. It's, there's no doubt about it. It's, we love you, Bobby, but goddamn. The only thing that I they, think they that... They set you up against the Kraken from the big mythology, man. 
that Bobby yeah. can, can beat him is if he knock him down with one punch. And don't think yeah, if he, can, if he no. gets him like that, if oh, he is really being careless, yeah. yes, I do believe that Bobby Green has a little bit of power behind him, even though he hasn't knocked out people in a while. The last knockdown was I uh, tell in, you November, so sorry, guys. in November 2021. So, but like we said, we're still sure this is going to be Makachev. And Makachev, in the face of look, I mean, he's taller than... Yeah, you know, but, I, but I thought that Bobby bigger. was taller. I that, thought. We thought that, but yeah. that's not the Because case. he has, like, long reach, if you see him. They, even though they, they, they are 5'10". Yeah. Both of them. And Magnetic looks bigger. Magnetic look bigger than him. Yeah. Right? And also, if you see him, when they're going to re uh, rehydrate their body, Maga sorry, Magnetic body is going to go bigger than Bobby. Because remember, Bobby already lost 25 pounds in two days. So he has to recover those 25 pounds and then rehydrate. I don't feel like it's possible for a human body gain all those. Uh, in water, in water, maybe. But yeah, but it's not gonna be the same. Like I'm telling you, yeah, like, yeah, the body has gonna yeah, feel. Yeah, yeah. You know, like in water, it's possible, buddy. And and like um, it's not gonna rehydrate like the, the real, same. No, no, like, no, of course not. Like Mark and you know, not. like it's not gonna be the same. No, like, then, of course not. I, I, I mean, and it's funny because Bobby said, hey, yeah. hey, I got some wrestling going on. And he's like, wow, 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 wow what background in wrestling you got? You got wrestling from high school? Yeah. <laughs> background in high school? Look, <laughs> guys. Look. Listen, Magachev has been wrestling bears, my man. Bobby, you've been <laughs> wrestling teddy bears, man. Yeah. There's a difference between a real bear and teddy bear, man. Come on. Teddy bear is movable. It's a little toy that you chew on. But this guy, the, the bear actually chews on you, man. Yeah. Let me tell you. <laughs> man, if we take this fight, if we really do, Bobby, I would never doubt you again, even if we go against Gabriel King himself. If you really take this one, I'll probably take my clothes off and run later for No, that was I was going to say. I swear in my grandma a grave, if Makache loses tomorrow, I'm gonna, you're going to record me running naked in Walmart. And we're going to upload it to YouTube if Mark and Jeff loses course, to Walmart. Of course, we've got to cover our little Yeah, of course. Is. We're going to cover that part, you know, but we're going to probably get it. arrested too. Yeah, it's going to be a felony. But I'm going to do it. This is how confident I am in Mark and Jeff tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This is how confident I am. Mm -hmm. Like, even in the fight, Amanda, Amanda Nunez against Juliana Peña, you were telling me. You have to take care because Amanda, the guest stand, the 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 the. But she got careless. Like she, I, I felt like Amanda was not. Yeah, but in this fight, even if Makachev does out, he can wrestle this guy. Boy, I don't think Makachev is gonna go. No, I know, but I'm telling you, man. Even if Makachev loses this fight, Kapil is gonna jump down fence and give him a beating for yeah. him. Oh my God, Kapil is gonna go crazy. You remember, guys, when he jumped after that guy? Um, they don't, they don't die this after the Conor McGregor fight. Right. Yeah, he's gonna jump back in there and beat the crap right. out of the referee. Yeah. My grandma, your grandma, and Michael Shells too. And that probably Bobby right. Green if he doesn't hurry up and get the hell out and then away too. So <laughs> I don't think I don't think that We don't bet on the main event cards, fellas. Listen, this is a rule that we learn because once you bet on the main card, and you lose it. You lose your house, you lose your retirement account, the you lose the number that you, that you don't even have. And there's no way to get it back. But we're gonna make an exception on this on one. This one. Because yeah. we are so sure that Margaret Jim is gonna take it yeah. that we are willing to do anything if he doesn't. I don't think that there's gonna be a, a fight that you can be more sure this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. we are gonna recap the five pick for tomorrow, guys. The first one is Jonathan Martinez against Alejandro Perez. Jonathan Martinez is that one. The second one is Ignacio Bahamondes that goes against Rohan Chu. Mm -hmm. The third one is the modified Joel Alvarez. The fourth one, Micha Circono that goes against Williston Thurman. And the fifth and the most confident that we are is Islam Makachev against Bobby Green. All right. So guys, take care. I hope all of you make a lot of money with us and see you in the next one. And remember, if you don't make money, we didn't either. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. This is the beat up cast setting up.